we have some health news now for you, and a new drug may bring cooling relief for many women suffering from menopausal hot flashes who may not be able to take hormone replacement therapy. Monica, I happen to know for a fact there are many women who are waiting anxiously to hear every word you have to say on this topic. I'm not naming names, but... Mm -hmm. I know not there me. are a lot of them, mm -hmm. and Bet no, Betsy's not one of them, but um, <laughs> this is something that it, it, women have been begging for something like this forever. Is this the magic pill? No. But it... Doggone it it. it. it may help. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all we can there's ask you. Come on. There's never a magic pill. I know. When it come, yeah. You know, don't get me started on that one. Okay, <laughs> the FDA approved the drug. It's called Vioza. It was approved this past Friday. It's expected to hit the market this summer. Now, Vioza is non-hormonal, so it may be an option for women who can't or won't take hormone replacement therapy, or HRT. The drug reduces the risk of developing moderate to severe hot flashes. It does not treat the myriad of other menopausal symptoms. It is not as effective as hormone replacement therapy, but for some women, such as breast cancer survivors who are still dealing with symptoms, it may bring some relief. Well, they were happening every half hour and all day and all night. So there was just, there was, they were relentless. I'm very grateful that somebody put some time and effort in something that is often just kind of blown aside. Yeah, she's not wrong, and Diane is very ready to get a prescription for this medication when it becomes available. She is a breast cancer survival. Uh, uh, so menopausal hot flashes can start years before actual menopause kicks in, and the subject has long been written off and joked about. But let me tell you why it's not funny. A study from the North American Menopause Society found women who experience frequent and persistent hot flashes may be at greater risk for heart attack, stroke, or other heart conditions later in life. So it is really, really important that we get these symptoms under control. All right, so how does this work? I mean, <laughs> it's not the magic pill, no. but I have to assume that there has to be some kind of blocking in your brain. I, I yeah. don't know how that would otherwise happen. I'm going to leave out the uh, scientific NK3 receptor and all that stuff. <laughs> okay. But in Thank simplest you. terms, <laughs> I know Jay seriously wants to hear all that. It blocks a receptor that's involved in the, bl in the brain's regulation of body temperature. It comes in a 45 milligram pill that must be taken at the same time each day. Now, it does have a warning for liver injury, so women should get blood work done to check for liver damage before taking it, and they'll have to be rechecked every three months for the first nine months of using this medication. Wow. Now, there is another drawback to this. Okay. So I said it's supposed to hit the market, you know, in a few weeks when summer hits, likely, and uh, it's going to cost about 550 <gasps> bucks a month. Oh, now, that is before insurance coverage, and I'm assuming that a lot of insur insurers will cover it, but that may be an impetus for a lot of women who want to take it but may not have adequate insurance coverage. So that's something else I, to think a about. A quick one-liner for you. I've, I've heard women, many women, say, if men had to deal with this, there would be a fix for this by now. And they are not wrong. I don't think they are. No. I think it's prioritized because men drive that most of that field and... It's not affecting them, and they're not focusing on it like they could. But they need to live with these women. You're right. So You're pay right. attention, gentlemen. Do something. Fix yeah. it. Ex yeah. Absolutely. Monica Robbins, <laughs> thank, thank you. you so much.